Hello, and welcome to this node-based tutorial for a glacial table in Dynamo. To begin, we are going to want to get some sliders by going up to the left-hand side into the library and in the search bar typing in sliders. For this particular instance, we want to add both number sliders and integer sliders to our workspace. So we want to add one single integer slider by clicking on it to the workspace and we want to add five number sliders. So we will click number slider five times. Once we have all of our sliders in our workspace, we can start redefining the defaults that they are given. For our integer slider, we want to double click on integer slider to rename it and call this amount. The amount is going to correlate to the glaciation factor of our table. The higher the amount, the more glaciation, the lower the amount, the less glaciation. We're going to click on the drop down menu and change our default values from a minimum of 8 to a maximum of 20 leaving the step as 1. For the next number slider, we want to double click to rename again and call this table thickness. We are going to use the drop down box to change the minimum value of table thickness to 50 and the maximum value to 250. We want to have sit somewhere in between and I'm going to run with 150. For the next number slider, we will once again double click to rename and call this table width slash length. Because this table is going to be square, in terms of its x, y coordinates, we can have one single slider to define this variable. In the drop down menu we will once again define minimum and maximums, leaving a minimum of 300 and a maximum of 800. I am going to put my default somewhere in the middle at 500. For our next number slider we want to double click to rename again and call this table height. Following exactly the same process, we will use the drop down box to double click and set minimums and maximums. The minimum height we want to define for this table will be 500 and the maximum height we want to define will be 800. I am going to once again sit somewhere in the middle at 600 for my default height. For the next number slider we will once again go through and rename by double clicking and call this glaciation factor. The glaciation factor is going to be a variable set between 0 and 1 which will simply using multiplication change the values of our spheres to be either larger or smaller with the result being sharper or smoother glaciation of our table. So we want to change our minimum to 0 0.2 and our maximum to 0 0.6. We also in this instance want to change our step and we're going to change it from 0 0.1 to 0 0.05. The final slider we have is going to be our post width. We also want to set the minimums and maximums for our post width, so we'll click the drop down menu and change our minimum to 40 and our maximum to 80. Once again we'll sit somewhere in the middle with a post width of 60. Once we have all of our sliders set up we can clean up our workspace, so by drag selecting all of our nodes we can right click and using the align selection options within our right click menu we can choose align selection left. This will align all of our nodes to the left and we can once again using right click go to align selection and y distribute to clean up our nodes. Once we have all our nodes cleaned up we can create a group from them by once again selecting all nodes, right clicking and using create group. This is also used through control G on the windows as a shortcut. We can double click within our group to give a title and we will call this input sliders. The input sliders is a little bit small, so we are going to right click and change our font size of the group to 24 for clarity.